Hi everyone, this is Movie Boy Meister here, and this is going to be a DVD and CD pickups for August 17th, 2023. And if you want to know what that red shelf is, it's uh, I'm trying to find it. It's, That's my red shelf right there. Where I put my horror DVDs in. And I also got another shelf too. Which is actually. Uh, right behind me. It's actually right behind me right there. You probably can't see it. but That's another shelf. I actually got for. I got it at a flea market for $10. So that's cheap right there. And if you're wondering why this is here, um, I'd move it right there. I'd move it right there for now until I move it somewhere else. I don't know where I'm gonna move it, but who knows? But uh, anyways, let me get this camera. Stay right there. There we go. Anyways, let's get this video started. One, three, two, one, go. This one is the Friday the 13th 2009 remake. Um, I might have to say, um, I have not seen it, but I heard it's pretty good for a remake. It's from the producers of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003 remake. So, why not? There is the disc. So. I should move a little closer. Here we go. So that's the Friday 13th, 2009 uh, remake. I don't know what the this is. Um, put it right there. Alright, well, move that. Put it right there for now. Because uh, this shelf gets in the way. So, anyways, next one is um, Zombie Land Double Tap. Uh, this one is actually better than the first one, that is for sure. It's actually really funny. <laughs> really funny, I'd say. My opinion, it's actually real funny. My favorite sequel of 2019, that's for sure. So, yep, this one I would say I I enjoy the most. It's actually so funny. So, yep. There is the disc. And uh, my favorite scene to this movie is where the uh, that girl who wears that pink uh, coat or something like that. Um, <laughs> she uses like the binoculars, to, like just, like just have it in the wrong way. And she thinks that guy is so tiny, but then you look, you go in the right way, he's big. And he's like tiny, big, tiny, big. <laughs> oh, that's just so embarrassing, though. I just like that's my favorite part of the movie, really. <laughs> my parents say it's my favorite, my favorite part. They're like, this is embarrassing, man. But yeah, that's my favorite part of the movie, that's for sure. So that's Zombie Land Double Tap, fun sequel. Love it. <laughs> but yeah, that that scene is just oh, it's like the. I can make me embarrassed. Make me embarrassed, really. But not really embarrassed, though, because I love the movie. I'm a movie watcher, so, yeah. Anyways, next one is the Sweetie Todd, the Demon, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. This is the one that's actually directed by Tim Burton himself. Yep, this is a Warner Brothers, well, DreamWorks and Warner Brothers film. Yep. There is the disc right there, the Born Greatest. Then you get around to watching this movie. So, yep. That's uh, Tim Burton's uh, Sweeney Todd. His version of that movie, that's for sure. Alright, next one is uh, Death Tunnel. Another movie I need to get around to watching. Um, I could say this is like the sequel to uh, Gothica, if you ask me. If you've seen that Gothica movie from 2003, this is kind of like a sequel to Gothica, but not really a sequel. 
Same with like Savage, that aka also known as Gruesome. I could say that has like a gospel feel to it. Because it's like, it's kind of like the movie where you die over and over again. Like a loop, really. So, yep. <laughs> and I could say though, um, <laughs> yeah. But this is like kind of like a sequel to Goth Bed. I would say the same for Last Night in Soho. If anyone's watched that movie from 2021, I could say that is probably like a prequel to Goth Bed, kind of. And uh, maybe 13 Ghosts, I don't know, even though there's no really no 13 Ghosts movie. Just like more of a prequel to Goth Bed, that's for sure, because it's like the, the red and blue thing. It's kind of like a Goth Bed feel to it, like a vibe to it, though, really. But it's not really a prequel. I mean, it kind of is, in my opinion. But this one is kind of like a sequel to Goth Bed, that's for sure. In my opinion, though, even though it's not really a sequel. But, yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, Plus Entertainment, Twin, what is it, Twin Talk Entertainment, and Dax Productions, that's right. So, uh, yep, but, uh, there is the disc right there, and then there's the other insert for other movies, like, uh, Sasquatch Hunters, which I think that's like a sci-fi channel, sci-fi channel movie, Dead Birds, good Western horror comedy, Exorcism of Emily Rose. So, yeah. The Astral Edition, I have the Unrated. Devour, Boogeyman, uh, Frankenfish, I have that in the multi pack. For Frankenfish, and Cake, I have that in the multi pack too. And uh, some other movies too. So, there's the disc for Death Tunnel. Um, I could say the, uh, the cover looks pretty good for. Uh, or Death Tunnel, that's for sure. Another movie I need to get around to watching. Still have not watched yet, so I don't know until I say my opinion on it. So, anyways, next is a Dimension Extreme title here, Black Sheep. This is the uh, the New Zealand horror comedy, as you like to call it. Pretty much about killer sheep. <laughs> oh boy. I might get around to watching this movie though. I mean, it may look stupid, but it might be just so hilarious to you. As for a horror comedy, yeah, but it's more like a comedy than a horror. But this is the unrated edition of a uh, Black Sheep, so yep, and it's like a horror comedy in New Zealand. So <laughs> it's pretty much about like a uh, killer sheep, um, killer sheep uh, in New Zealand. So yep. <laughs> There is the disc right there. Covered is IFC, IFC first tape, and the New Zealand copy. So the cover looks pretty good for Black Sheep. Not to be confused with the Black Sheep that came out in the 90s, I believe. I actually have it somewhere. Actually, no, isn't it? Is it in that shelf? That black shelf. Let me check. Because I might pull it out and show you. A witch black sheep movie that I'm talking about here. Yeah, there it is right there. If I don't try to knock everything over. Yeah, this is the Whoa. Yeah, this is the black sheep. This is the one that has like Chris Barley in that one. So this is the horror comedy of Black Sheep, so got like a two and one. That's for sure. Black Sheep, the comedy, and Black Sheep turns into a horror movie. <laughs> That's for sure. I put that right there for now. I'll fix it later. So uh, that's Black Sheep, the comedy. In the 90s, that turns into a killer sheep horror movie. <laughs> That's for sure. I'll get around to watch. I'll watch it, though. But uh, it's like a horror comedy in New Zealand. So, anyways, next one is probably my, I would say my favorite Dimension Extreme movie here. It is going to be, it is uh, Broken. Yes. This is actually a really good slasher. Really cool little slasher. 
This is the theatrical edition. Yeah, you can see the cover right there. No one can save you. This is kind of like, this is like a Saw and Hostel a little bit. But, yeah, it says, Broken makes Saw look like a children's film, says SlasherPool.com. So, this is the theatrical edition of Broken. So, there's the back. You guys see, this is the R-rated edition. Not for the squeamish. It says, uh, ThreadCentral.com. But yeah, like I said, this is kind of like Saw and Hustle. But, uh, there's a disc right there. And then an insert for Dimension Extreme Titles on DVD. So, uh, that's Broken. The horror version of Broken, I have mentioned. Not to be confused with the, uh, uh, the drama version of Broken. This is like the, uh, slasher, uh, version of Broken, which is, this is actually a pretty cool slasher. But, uh, that's, uh, Broken for you. The horror version. But, uh, pretty cool movie, I say. I like, I love the movie. Next one is, uh, Bug. Yes. This is actually from the director of The Exorcist, William Freakin. Yeah, William Freakin. Uh, yeah, he's the one who directed The, Ex the Exorcist movie from 1973. And uh, sadly, he pretty much he died. Yeah, he died around this year, which is sad. Rest in peace to rest in peace to the director of The Exorcist, William Freakin. Yeah, rest in peace to him. But. Uh, this is a killer bug movie. So, yep. There it is on the back. And uh, there's the disc. I don't know why it has like a little Bigfoot thing <laughs> in this DVD for some reason, but uh, there you go. This one has a, yeah, this is the killer, not this one has a, this is a killer bug movie. So, that's Bug. This has a Ashley Judd. Michael Shannon and uh, Harry Carnick Jr. in this one. Yep, this is a different title. Um, not to be confused with the uh, the Bug movie that came out in like in the 80s, I believe, or 1970s. This is a different title. Different title movie it came out like uh, when did it come out? 2006, I think. 2005. Ah, uh, who knows? But uh, that's Bug from the director of The Exorcist. So, yep. Next one is a uh, Come Play. <laughs> yes. He's good at taking friends. This is kind of like the sequel to uh, Lights Out, if you ask me. But, uh, yep. There is the back. Focus features and Ablin, Ablin Partners. Yeah, that's right. Here's a disc. Now, this is actually a bootleg DVD, so why not? Another movie I need to get around to watching, so that's Come Play. Not as good as Lights Out, but i never seen the movie, so I might give it a watch sometime. Next one here is Dark Water. This is the American version of a, I think it's like an Asian type of movie. I think it's like an Asian movie called Dark Water like an Asian movie, but this is the American version. This is from the author of The Ring, the 2002 movie. There's the back. There is the disc, which is actually pretty shiny. It's actually pretty cool. Scene selections and the bonus features, which is weird. They put it on a flyer like this and advertising Jodie Foster in Light Flam. Covens in the DVD. And uh, here's this little thing. I don't know why this is in here, but whatever. But uh, that's Dark Water. So theatrical full screen edition. Next one is Underworld Awakening. This is part four of the Underworld franchise. I got this for a dollar. I'll say, I didn't get around to watching it. <laughs> I need to get around to watching this movie. I need to watch the other Underworld movies before I get to watch the fourth one. And the same with the fifth one, too. The Blood Wars 2017 movie. 
There's the back. And now I do have the other Otherworld movies, but they're in the horror section in my horror shelf. My red horror shelf. And I have a Underworld uh, Evolution, but it's in that multi-pack. So you won't be seeing it for this video, and you won't be seeing the other ones. But uh, I don't feel like pulling them out right now. So Screen Gems and Lake Shore and Sketch Films for the fourth Underworld movie. Alright, next one is going to be The Visit and that Shyamalan film. Yep. There's the front of that and the back. It's actually pretty cool. And there is the disc. It's actually a bootleg. Once again, just like come play. So that's The Visit. So, yep. Next one is uh, See No Evil 2. This is the sequel to uh, See No Evil, the one that has a cane in that one. It's cool. Another one of WWE Studios uh, movies. There is the back. And then the front. Finally got this movie now. I've always needed the second one of that. And, yep. There is the disc right there, and this also has the uh, ultraviolet code, but I'm not going to reveal the code. But uh, probably might be expired by now. But that's Seen No Evil 2. Um, good sequel. I wish I'd do a third one. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Next one is Leprechaun 4 in Space. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Leprechaun 4 in Space. This is actually, I like this cover though. Um, yep, there's the back right there. I don't have the other Leprechaun movies on DVD, but there's also a uh, multi pack that has all eight of the Leprechaun movies in there, which I like to have. It has all eight Leprechaun movies in there, which even includes uh, Leprechaun Returns, too. So that's uh, Leprechaun 4 in space. Kind of like a uh, Hellraiser in space, uh, Jason in space. They didn't do Freddy in space, though. I wish they'd do that. And uh, they did Critters in space. And uh, I think that's it. I don't think Chucky in space will work, though, to be honest. Like, it'd be like a cyborg killing robot doll in space. <laughs> but, uh, I wish they'd do Freddy in space, like do a nightmare or a nightmare on space street. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Hitcher, the remake, remake to the original one. So yep, this is actually from the director, the text, uh, not director, uh, from the producers of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, 2003 remake. This is the Hitcher remake. Uh, I don't own the original Hitcher, nor its sequel, the Hitcher 2. Rogue Pictures and uh, Infinite Pictures and Platinum Dunes. This is a Michael Bay. Here's this right there, the Hitcher. And this has a thing for HD, HD DVDs. Which I only have one HD DVD, unfortunately, but... <laughs> It's, uh, it's really invented on HD DVD. <laughs> so, that's the Hitcher remake. Oh, whoa. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah move that right there. Anyways, next one's a double pack with the Prom Night Classic movie and Ghoulies 4. Um, I have not seen Ghoulies 4 but Prom Night classic movie. There's the back. Now I don't own the other Ghoulies movies like Ghoulies 1, 2, and 3. I think Ghoulies 3 got a Vestron Blu-ray. I think it's one of the Vestron Blu-rays. I don't know but uh Someday I'll get the Ghoulies movies. Maybe if there's an 8-pack that has Ghoulies 3 on it, I'll get it. Here is disc 1, which has Prom Night on it. 
and this too has a Ghoulies 4 on there. So, yep, nice little double feature pack from uh, Echo Bridge. So, yep. Next one is actually a French horror film, which again is kind of like Saw and Hostel a little bit. So, this is Frontiers. One of the eight films of Die For After Dark Horror Fest. This is actually a French horror film, just like High Tension. Another French horror film. There's also another French horror film, which is uh, Inside. Also goes by the name, uh, it's in French. I don't know if I'll say it right. El Intelida, or <laughs> something like that. I can't even speak French. So. Yeah, there is the disc right there. So maybe someday I'll watch this uh, French film of uh, Frontiers. And last but not least, in the horror section of my horror duties I got before I get to the two Christmas duties is Fear Incorporated. And I think this is like a um, horror comedy. I have not gone around to watching it yet. I need to watch this movie here. It actually has a Abigail Breslin in that one too. She's all she also played in that uh, Maggie movie. Got you know, the one who ha has the the Terminator in that one. The guy who plays the Terminator. <laughs> and uh, she also plays in uh, Zombie Land One and Two. So so that's surprising. She surprisingly she played in uh, this movie. And uh, she's very good in that one. I love her blonde hair in that movie. I think it's actually better, in my opinion. Yeah, Electric Entertainment, Mesia, and Love Suspect. There is the disc for Fear Incorporated. 2016 movie. And there is the back. <laughs> and uh, one of the special features also includes a uh, short film, which I need to get around to watching. But I'll, I'll watch the movie first before I could... Uh, watch the short film. I don't know how long it is, really, but that's Fear Incorporated. Next one's a two Christmas movies here. Is uh, the Santa Claus Two. This one's actually sealed. As you can tell, it's actually sealed. Someday I might do an unboxing video of this. Well, not do an unboxing, but like, well, do a part two. Of this here, me unboxing it. So, yep, I'll think about doing that. So, there it is. Blockbuster date is March 1st, 2004. So, that's the Santa Claus 2. And my last DVD that I got from the flea market through this DVD and CD pickups for you the CDs is a uh, Bad Santa, <laughs> the uh, unrated edition. Yep. <laughs> Internationally, this is a Columbia Pictures film in the UK and other countries for Bad Santa. But why not? This movie's pretty funny. I know there is a sequel to this, Bad Santa 2. So, yep. Scene selection, as always. And an advertisement for a movie. My baby's dead. So, uh, there's a Bad Santa. And to get to the two CDs here I got from the flea market. This one is a uh, Kiss Double Platinum. I got a couple of Kiss CDs. <laughs> I got this for seven dollars here, and uh, this one actually pulls out. It's kind of like the Sonic Boom thing here. There it is right there. There's the CD, and then the all their songs like a Strutter '78, Do You Love Me, Harlock Woman. Calling After Love, Let Me Go Rock and Roll, Love Gun, God of Thunder, Firehouse, Harder Than Hell, I Want You, Deuce, A Hundred Thousand Years, Detroit Rock City, which I think that's the best one. It's my first Kiss song I ever listened to. Fun fact. Rock Bottom, The Intro, and She, Rock and Roll All Night, Death, Making Love, Come On and Love Me, Cold Gin, and Black Diamond. So. Yep, that's uh, Kiss Double Platinum, 1978. And my other Kiss album here, which is Greatest Kiss. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this one. When I was, like, cleaning out my uh, building 
I could say my shed, my shed, which is also known as my building. So if I was cleaning it out, I found like the disc to a greatest kiss, and it sadly got broke. I accidentally broke it. So then I got a new copy of this here. I got this for five dollars at a flea market. So, yep. And a one funny story about the double platinum here. Um, when I was going to get this here, this guy was actually playing the double platinum album in the, the flea market, which is pretty funny. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, get back to the greatest kiss. And there's the disc back right there. What it looks like. And mine does have plaster caster on it. Um, there's two versions of greatest kiss you can own. The one without plaster caster and the one with... with um, Plaster caster. Plaster caster. Yeah, that's right. So, that's Greatest Kiss. And I'll show the neat stuff that I got here. So, first up is this little pen. This little pen right there. I don't know if you can see it. This says... Oh. <laughs> this, has, this says right there, Iron Maiden. Right there. A little skull. If I open it, so you'll probably see it a little better. I'm on hand use it. Attack. You probably see it a little better. And there it is. You can actually see it a lot better now. Iron Maiden. It's actually an Iron Maiden pit. And uh, it's a lid. There it is. That's what the lid looks like. Next one is uh, some Rebel Gloves, which I'll definitely try on for you all. I'll try on one of them for this video, so why not? Just in case we're the winter time. They're a little, a little big on me, but there is the Rebel. Um, gloves. You want to have it for winter? Have some rebel on you. In your face. In your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. So, these are the rebel gloves. They're actually pretty neat. Got that. I think I got this for five, five dollars actually. I will wear these for winter. That's for sure. And next one's a shirt I got. I got this for cheap. <laughs> this one, this is a uh, a shirt here. This is a Chucky shirt. It's actually pretty cool. Got this for uh, cheap. Got it for a cheap price, but Chucky shirt. So that's for sure. And then the last cool thing I want to show you here. This one's actually pretty cool. If you Bet you never heard of this thing right here. This is actually a tornado lamp. Yes. This is actually really cool. I'm going to plug it in to show you all that it actually works. So, I will be right back. Or actually, I'll show you what it looks like here. Before I can get this thing to work, here's what it looks like. It looks like a lava lamp, right? Well, you plug it in, you'll see what it does. So, I'll be right back. So, give me a few minutes to do this here. So, I'll be back in a few minutes here. So, yeah. A few minutes later. Alright, so I got it plugged in here. So, Let's turn this thing on. Watch what it does here. Look at what it's doing. It's actually doing a little twister. That's actually pretty cool. 
Sorry if my camera's flashing though. It just does that. So, yep. There you go. You're in for a little treat right there. So that's the the tornado lamp, which is actually really cool. So, yep. So that's it for the video, and I hope you all liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that. I'll see you all later on Movie Boy Meister's channel. So, yep, that's it for the video.